have a chance to uh, own some, when I say iconic, I mean literally iconic pieces of TV memorabilia that are going up for auction. We are joined this morning by James Commissar. He is a curator with Heritage Auctions. You guys have a big television auction coming up. And when some of this stuff that you guys have is just amazing. First of all, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Um, hey, secondly, John. Secondly, I want to get How straight into- How am I going to follow Scotcheroos? Yeah, I know. I tell you, they're tough to follow. <laughs> uh, I want to start with uh, the thing that's kind of made headlines. You guys have the bar from Cheers being auctioned off. True story. Give we me do. This. It's the How? original bar used from 1982 to 1993. The current bid is $155,000. And I wanted to say cheers <laughs> to all the soldiers who have served this country. We recognize them on this day. Um, we have items for $155,000. We also have items for $155 at ha.com. Our auction starts this Friday. John, what, what was your favorite TV show growing up? Uh, I'll tell you what, I watched a lot of Cheers growing up, uh, a lot of the Cosby show. Uh, well, I want to get to some of the uh, the less expensive items that sure. you mentioned. One of the things that stuck out to me, I thought this was great, Walter White's clothes from Breaking <laughs> Bad, also Jesse Pinkman's. How did you get your hands on these? What's the story behind this? Uh, they came at the, at the end of production. Now, the marvelous thing is we have pounds and pounds of their blue sky meth. This was what? their 99% pure yeah. meth. And that could be yours if the price is right. <laughs> now, of course, it's not actual meth. Do you know what it was made out of? Yes, the production decided having real meth on the set would not be good. So they, <laughs> they created a proprietary rock candy. Oh. But we also have Walter White's daughter, Holly, she is also in the sale, her stunt double that he would carry around. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's whether your thing is Breaking Bad or Mad Men, we have stuff from all the contemporary shows. Um, what else would you like us to talk about? Uh, what else do you have there? The, uh, okay, the, this is the other one that stuck out to me because you guys have literally hundreds of things available for auction. Wow. Um, look at Dwight that. Schrute's shirt and tie from The Office. Okay, so, you know, Superman had his uniform yeah. <laughs> and Dwight Schrute had his that hideous mustard gold yeah. short sleeve dress shirt yeah um we have saw michael scott's and many of the other cast members oh look there's late night with david letterman there's this amazing set perfect for your man cave or your or your podcast that's all going for as we say one money uh plinko may be the most popular game in tv history yeah and that reveals the fifty thousand uh, dollar prize uh, is light. that in your budget, John? Fifty thousand? Uh, no, no, it is not. Not right now. But hopefully, <laughs> uh, I want to go back to the. Uh, I know they're showing a bunch of different stuff, but I want to go back to the Letterman desk. I think of I course. know who your guys' buyer is going to be for this. I will you? bet you. No, no. I think it's going to be Jimmy Kimmel. He is a oh, huge Letterman fan. He's got the money to buy it. Do you guys, when you put some of this stuff up for auction, do you kind of have in your head a profile who might be interested in buying what stuff? Absolutely. I mean, Heritage Auctions is the biggest auction company in the United States, and they are a marketing machine. They go. They don't wait for the bids to come in. They go yeah. find them. They contact all the usual suspects. Um, there's a lot of this is such a white hot uh, investment market right now that we're finding that a lot of uh, business managers and portfolio managers are contacting us and saying, hey, what can we slot into our portfolio? That will go up 50% in the next five years. So you have fans and you also have people who want to take advantage of the fact that the demand in this market is so far greater than the supply. So what is one item in there that you think will surprise people that will that may get more interest than people realize? Well, I'm rooting for Johnny Carson's Tonight Show set. Yeah. He went off the air in 92, so that's already many decades ago. Yeah. Uh, uh, he is my, that's, his desk is maybe my favorite piece in the whole collection. Yeah. It comes with his chair and the background and the guest sofa and chairs. It's a really amazing lot. And uh, we'll see if a brand like that, that's... Uh, you know, slightly faded. We'll see how it goes, but I, I suspect that'll go for $250,000. All right, well, the auction starts this coming Friday. It goes through the weekend. The website is ha.com. And we mentioned, we, should, we talked a lot of the high dollar stuff, but there is stuff that's 
more affordable that you could have as a souvenir or uh, a memorabilia in your house. James, thank you so well, much. John, Best of luck with the auction. Ninety percent, ninety percent of the pieces in the sale start at one dollar, so there is something yeah. for every price range. Yeah, you can go to ha.com and you just like literally click through, and it's literally hundreds of things. James, thank you so much. Appreciate it. John, thanks for the visit. Bye. I love all that stuff. The, uh, John, do you have fifty thousand dollars to buy no. Plinko? Uh, the Cheers bar. If I was like a millionaire, yeah, I would put that in my basement. Basement. I'd make my basement the all whole Cheers set. All Cheers. Also, the Letterman sets. Another thing. I love Letterman. Yeah. Yeah.